Hey guys and welcome to another video by Software Master and this video is talking about uh, routing the new Galaxy S4 uh, GDI9 GDI9500 and it's very easy it only needs two files root will definitely remove your ranty and uh, you, I mean you the ranty is if you changed anything in the phone it will be over the ranty will be over and you do this for on your own risk so let's continue with the tutorial and let me show you the process on the phone so here we go this is the phone and this is the S4 the S4 i9 100 just let me show it to you about device it is the i9 100 4.2.2 so it is an easy process which is <coughs> you know like transferring the files in here and then doing everything so be right back when I finish when I move the files to the phone so let's connect the GDI 9500 and just let's copy okay this file is a tar file which we won't need to copy I'll need to copy this so I'm going to copy the computer GDI 9500 GDI 9500 and paste it just oh actually it's recommended to paste it in the two partitions which are the phone storage and the SD card let me just paste them both okay now the thing that I've copied is the super SC zip all the links will be provided in the description so what you so, here is the GDI 9100 we need to put it into download mode which is not that hard ok let me just take the protector off or the case oh, it's a nice one so here's the phone a brand new one so what you're gonna do is long press the main the button and power off okay you wait until the phone just finish you know it will rotate a little bit here it is rotated vibrated now want to push the volume down the center button and the power button so we press them continuously until we get into this it won't extend volume up will continue to download mode volume down will be cancel which is to start the phone to the regular the regular phone so press volume up you'll see this is the first time okay it won't flash it won't focus because the brightness is a little bit so much so whatever let me read it to you is the Samsung official GDI 500 so let's move to the PC because I want to connect my phone and flash the recovery mode so this is Odin and as you saw I put in my phone on my Galaxy S4 into download mode and now I would be I would like to plug the USB cable so it's blocked and now you will see that the phone will start installing some drivers if you're Windows 8 or Windows 7 it will automatically install the drivers but you're in, if you're in another Windows it will tell you to install them manually so when I'm ready I'll be right back Oh, actually I am sorry cuz I've said that it will automatically install but in some cases it won't 
and it won't show up in here you know when you're in download mode it won't show up but when you're on, on the phone itself it will show up so the solution for that is that you go to the link that I will put in the description and download the Samsung USB driver for mobile phones it's not that big it's it's 23 and it will install it you put your phone back and it, actually this is the manual installing so be right back when I'm done so as you see it is not that hard I just installed the drivers and the phone is connected as you see now I wanna click on BDA I wanna go to desktop I wanna go down to the tar file which is the coffee K i9 500cwm clockwork mode recovery english new united states whatever i don't know and uh, new new yeah new so you want to press on it press open and we'll get it over here we'll make sure it's only f reset time and auto reboot only checked so i want to click on start set up and recover so it is best it is important that you get the best uh, green icon over here so now we are in the recovery mood actually uh, as you see the phone will run regularly you won't see any changes and now we can quit this and uh, as I showed you the the, the super user dot zip file which I already copied into my SD card and my phone storage to make sure I found I find it so let's move into the phone as you see the phone is booted regularly no change no super SU icon appears but now is the great move you want to go to your files go to all files device storage oh, here it is the cwm super su zip and in my sd memory card which is the first so now what you're gonna do sorry we'll keep putting this nice cover Let me just take it off so we want to press the power button and power off the phone now okay here's the vibrating thing work so wanna press to into the recovery mode that we just flashed we're gonna go to the up volume up the center button and the power button so we put press them all together when you see this you leave the power button and hold the center and the volume up and I'm gonna wait a second it will take some time the first time you just get in here we go this is the Samsung i9 100 i9 500 I'm sorry I keep telling that because I I'm having a head in S2 so I'm gonna install zip from SD card Apply zip from SD card zero. Want to go down to clockwork mood, super SU, super SU version 0 0.99. I don't know if you can see it. Let's just fix. Wait a second. Let's put. Here it is. Oh, here it is. This is it. So we go for it. Press the power button. We don't to yes install. We wait a second install from SD card complete. Just go to go back and your boot system now. So now as you see I can put the cover back and the phone will run regularly. Just move the camera. Here we go. We slide to unlock. We go over here. This is the Sobrasio icon. 
So press need to upgrade, continue installing this way installation success. Here it is, it's the super SU. And to actually try this, I'll try it. I'll be right back while when downloading a program that needs root. So guys, I thought why why to download a program while we have the root checker basic. So we download that and press you know, run the run it and press on agree. Okay. Verify root access. Press on it. And here we go. Is the pop up and congratulations, your device. Your device has root access. Okay, so here we go. Done with my tutorial. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, rate, subscribe, like, and share it with your friends so they can root their Galaxy S fours too. And thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye bye.